Hi, I'm Ingo from Rose Travels, and today I have a very special guest here, Stephen Stefan Lau from the ILO team. Hi, Stefan. Hi, Ingo. Nice to have you. And the topic we've, we've been talking about today is a bit a special one because um, I realized the ILO Bullet was launched as a home roasting machine. But now more and more people are either growing from home roasters to nano roasters or they're starting with this machine as small commercial roasters. Do you see yes. some similar oh, yes. development? Oh, yes. And I have first-hand uh, impressions from, from that with having my own roastering com company yeah. next to my position in IU. So, yeah. Can you tell a bit about that? So you say you're doing also commercial roasting with one bullet machine? Yes, I actually do. And I actually have two bullets. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But... Um, because I know the bullet from inside out, yeah. uh, luckily it has been running for, for a long, long time yeah. uh, now without having the need to switch. Yeah. And capacity-wise, one bullet can do a lot of coffee. Yeah. Not to go into details, so yeah, so, so yeah we, we see uh, an increasing interest from, from I mean, directly from professionals yeah. approaching us yeah. because they've heard that the bullet is actually a workhorse yeah. and it's reliable and mm -hmm. it can actually do also smaller batches for yeah. evaluation and so forth. So, yeah. so, so it's, it's a thing that was not thought of 100% yeah. from the beginning, yeah. but we are here today. Yeah. Okay, because it's just such a great machine. And I also realize really big portions of my customers that are um, purchasing the Ali Bullet are professionals. Mm -hmm. Can you go a bit into um, details or can, can you give an, an outline on what are the typical uses um, a commercial roastery can use the bullet for? Well, what I hear the most in terms of numbers of bullet mm -hmm. uh, being used uh, commercially is actually uh, home roasters growing into a part-time yeah. job roasting, selling to yeah. the local community. I would say that's probably what we have seen the most until now. Mm. And uh, for those guys, it's, it's pretty convenient because you know your bullet well yeah. and you know why you can actually roast more than, than, than you need and what yeah. needs to be done and uh, I guess at a certain point we'll also touch mm. upon maintenance yeah. because that also affects uh, a lot uh, the result. Mm. But, but uh, so, so, so it's actually two use groups, mm. those that are professionals and yeah. need some additions yeah. and found that this roaster yeah. is actually completely capable of doing, doing um, sample roasting. So, so roast for coffee evaluation, yeah. which is not necessarily a thing that a home roaster wouldn't even know what yeah. what's it's all about, evaluating. Yeah. Mm. Uh, but compared to those small sample roasters that have been around for, for hundreds of years yeah. <laughs> soon mm. with a coffee roaster, uh, roasting, I mean, the bullet can do exactly the same thing. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and then there's the uh, interest in doing small batch roasting yeah. of, I mean, typically very expensive coffees yes. that you mm. would never want to put into your yeah. 70 kilo lowering machine mm. uh, just like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> because it's simply too expensive and you don't have uh, yeah. the need for, for huge batches. Yeah, okay. So people that are starting into their roasting ventures but then also larger roasteries who use it, for example, for nano lots, but also to develop profiles and some sure. even to evaluate then green green coffee samples. Sure, mm. there is a there is a certain limit on what you can do on a on a normal sample roaster. Yeah, mm. but the bullet is actually moving the limit of where you can you can take the evaluation part of yeah. of, of the sample roasting. Yeah. Because you can actually approach a little bit profiling, even with very small samples. Yeah. But, but, but then you can just increase it to yeah. like, like 300 gram, 400 gram, yeah. 
uh, and actually start profiling and yeah. see, okay, so, so I was right about this potential in this coffee because I can actually make a good batch following those yeah. impressions I had from, from the uh, evaluation. Yeah, okay. Okay, and um, maybe one remark I can make here because I had um, a discussion with Rob House a couple of days ago where we really talked about this, how can I um, use profiles that I developed on a machine like the audio bullet then and translate them to a production roaster. Yeah. So yeah. have a look at the video in the description as well. Mm -hmm. And um, there you will find quite some information on how you can translate profiles between a small drum roaster like the audio bullet and then a large production roaster. Right. But when it comes to this um, situation of people um, growing from home roasters to part-time commercial roasters as a side business, can you give more information because you know this world quite well? <laughs> um, what is things that have to be considered in particular, what is kind of equipment that people have to look for, what are your recommendations when you want to do a commercial setup and, and then you're kind of, uh, you have customers relying on, yeah. on a product that they are getting from you. Yeah. I would say, first of all, um, you need to get approved as a food producer yeah. in your specific country yeah. you come from. Mm. The rules are different different yeah. from, from country to country. Yeah. And also the level of knowledge you need to have, I mean, education-wise and so yeah. forth, is also um, very, very di different. Yeah. Uh, so, so, so a disclaimer here is yeah. you need to be in compliance. Yeah. Uh, mm. And, and uh, in Denmark, where I come from, uh, there's a, a special certificate you will you will need yeah. in order to be approved to to produce uh, mm. coffee in in, uh, in bigger amounts mm. and and sell it uh, commercially and for good reasons because yeah. I mean coffee is not the most uh, the most dangerous food you could produce yeah. because I mean everything is is uh, at, at high heat and, yeah. and so forth but. But you will have to, to, to make sure mm. that uh, you are following uh, all the regulations. Then I would say on the hardware side of things, uh, it's, you, you will probably find out soon that you would like to double certain parts of the bullet. Mm. Maybe even if you get really professional, that one bullet is not enough. Yeah. You would accept if you have only one bullet mm. that you will have downtown uh, down yeah. downtime, yeah. and and um, I mean if you do it commercially, well, it's probably not when you are far down the road a big investment to have another one. Yeah, mm. you would probably have that anyway in order to make sure that you can actually produce. Mm. So it's not like it's 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 breaking down all the time. Mm. But it's just a matter of making sure that you can produce. Yeah. There's then smaller parts like the uh, chaff basket, mm. uh, the chaff collector box. Mm. You would probably like to double that as well, so you can yeah. easily switch over. Yeah. Uh, to have consistency. Yeah. And consistency is one of the things you really have to focus at as a professional producer. Yeah. Because your customers would. <laughs> rely on you yeah. and in two months time when they buy the same coffee it should yeah. certainly taste the same yeah right mm. so maybe so, uh, maybe a remark here because we've been talking about <coughs> um, the maintenance of the machine and then also um, the chaff filters and back-to-back uh, -back rows in another video and uh, you find the video here mm -hmm. and there you find in particular information on how you would proceed if you're doing a lot of back-to-back -back roasts. Yes. And I just wanted to remark this. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. So maintenance-wise, uh, if, if you do uh, increase your, your, your productivity, like uh, to the double, mm. you would probably have to increase maintenance, yeah. not only to the double, but yeah. maybe more. Yeah. Because you have a lot of buildup, also depending on your roast style. Yeah. So if you... Uh, roast beans far beyond second crack. Yeah. Um, 
of course, you will really have to maintain yeah. because it, that is really what's building mm -hmm. up uh, the breeze and, and, yeah. and, and coffee oils. Which is actually true not only for uh, Bullet as a commercial roaster, but for any, any commercial roaster. It's a major part of the job is maintaining the machine. Exactly. And then, not to speak about the uh, ventilation yes. system in a commercial setting, yes. you will also have to, uh, to, 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 to adhere to the regulations because yeah. those are extremely important. Yeah. Uh, fire and whatnot. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So, because we've been talking about, and you find this also in the yeah, video here, yeah, yeah, about yeah. the ventilation system, yes. but there we've been really focusing on home roasters. When you're doing commercial roasting, that's what you stress, that then you have uh, like regulations, local regulations, you have neighbors, um, sure. so you really have to um, take care of all the regulations and also the neighbors. Smoke cleaning, uh, yeah. whatever, yeah, yeah, can affect neighbors. Mm. Sure. And then also clean the system because um, when it comes to commercial roasting, this is something that you find quite often um, that uh, there are ignitions on the, in the venting system. So sure. yeah, also sure. here take care of, of your uh, venting system. Exactly. Mm. What else? Yeah, what else? I would say the IBTS is something we have yeah. to be talking about. Yeah, I would say Increased ma maintenance, of course, also cover the the IPTS, mm -hmm. and, and you will have to make sure that the IPTS is working, mm. uh, and so that should certainly also be a part of your checklist. Yeah. Mm. In Denmark, again, just to relate to mm. reality, there you will have to maintain a a maintenance scheme yeah. in your calendar, yeah. and you will have to sign off yeah. that you actually did the cleaning. Yeah. And they would want to see that every time they come and yeah. uh, mm. make control visits. So, but for good reasons. Yeah, which is kind of the legal part. And I think yep. then there is another part. Um, I mean, the IBTS is such a powerful tool when it comes to having consistent roasts. So sure. you have a beautiful sure. tool here. Sure. But um, it needs to be cleaned and it needs to be consistent, in particular if you're roasting for... Um, or gastronomy customers, I would say, because they are really then um, having an issue if the roast is a bit too dark, too light, because exactly. then the grinding is not consistent. Yeah. They have over or under extractions, and they're just going to dislike the coffee. So sure, there's, and there's a lot of equipment around the uh, roasting process that yeah. you need to have in place if you go really uh, yeah. professional and for gourmet. Yeah. Uh, uh, users because there you will also need to control your color of your beans yeah. so you need these color meters yeah. in order to to have the right quality mm. and consistent color on your beans yeah. and you would also like to evaluate the uh, the humidity of your beans so yeah. you want to make sure that the water content yeah. is uh, constant Okay. And not using uh, two old beans that are actually yeah. uh, fading out after like one and a half year, yeah. whatever. So, so consistency is, is, key. is really yeah. key in, mm. in all the processes. How is it with, because you've been talking about equipment, like for example, chaff boxes that you would recommend to have more of them. Um, how is it with the software or with the computer if you want to roast on more than one, because you say you have a setup with two bullets? How is it if you want to roast on two or three bullets? Can you do this parallel on one computer or do you need more? Yeah, you cannot, you cannot do it in parallel at the same time on yeah. the same computer. Yeah. Not yet. Yeah. We are, of course, looking into this yeah. because there is a desire to, to do that. But you can certainly use the same account mm -hmm. uh, for several bullets. Okay. So, so uh, and depending on your, your setup, yeah. Uh, that is uh, that is uh, that is possible. Yeah. Uh, personally, I, I use my roast time on several computers. Yes. Uh, so so one computer is actually away from my bullet. Yeah. But then I do kind of roasting maintenance there mm. uh, together with my my uh, web shop system. So so yeah. it, so so I mean, it's all in the cloud mm -hmm. and can be synchronized. So, yeah. So that's all about the 
the uh, the roast time and, and roast world. Perfect. We where we also can can yeah. follow as a supporter uh, from Ilio, we can support people by looking into their roast and looking behind them even. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's anyway important to have them yeah. uh, at yeah. the roast yeah. and roast time. When it comes, so when people now have to purchase a second notebook to to work with a second roaster. In any case, it can be a really a cheap computer because roast time doesn't really need a lot of lot of resources. resources. No, mm -hmm. no, it's not like you shouldn't you know find the laptop that you would anyway throw out because now yeah. it can't even start properly. It yeah. should be able to run. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's not like you need a lot of resources. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, should that's be true. Probably a running machine with an actual software, you find yeah. the software regulations, but beside yeah. of that. Yeah. yeah, true, true. So we've been talking about the setup when you want to start into roasting. We've been talking about profiling, mm -hmm. profile roasting, mm -hmm. and where I have this recommendation of the interview with Rob House. And then there is also one more um, you mentioned before, which is evaluating greens, sample roasting. Yeah. Can you give a bit of information on that or how can people um, um, use the machine for, for evaluating greens? Yeah, so, so what you, if you, if you come from a sample roaster, a typical uh, sample roaster, then you roast by time and temperature. Mm -hmm. And then, depending on what you get in the cup afterwards, yeah. you will be trained in evaluating. So, okay, so mm. this is really, this has a huge potential mm. for me mm. because you are trained to actually know what you're yeah. looking for when you cup. Yeah. And, and so, so being able to uh, do evaluation roastings on the bullet, yeah is actually to be able to mimic those simple sample roasters, yeah. like for example, Probat, uh, yeah. that from, for many, many years mm. did those uh, sample yeah. roasters next to each other. Yeah. So you can have a lot of roasting going on at the same time. Um, so, so in order to do that with the bullet, you need to uh, go beyond what you would normally do with a bullet. Mm. sensor-wise, mm. because going down to 100 gram mm. uh, roasting on a bullet, there certainly the bean probe will mm. be out of use. I yeah. mean, th th there would be so, so few yeah. beans. However, uh, with the IBTS yeah. and a proper uh, a recipe yeah. running the yeah. roasts, partly time-wise and not only by temperature, but also do this after two minutes, do this after. Mm. You can actually uh, establish a system that consistently can uh, roast very small batches and, yeah. and, and give the same output for as, as uh, normal machines for, for copy okay. evaluation. Perfect. And there is this recipe because you have been working with Rob House and Morten Winkhoff on developing such yes. a recipe, which can be found on yes. the ILO website in a blog. Yeah, uh, and uh, it's working progress. Yeah, uh, like many other things, uh, I would like again to to refer to Rob House and and, and Morten uh, on doing this because they they are really uh, they are the specialists with yeah. in coffee roasting. Yeah. We, we just provide the right tools to actually be able to, to do what you would like to do. Yeah. And, and so, but um, it's, it's kind of an interesting field because, because we are expanding the potential of the, of the bullet. Yeah. Uh, that was not really thought of in the beginning. Yeah, thanks a lot, Stefan. A lot of information. And um, I hope this video was helpful for you. If you want to know more about the ILU bullets, then have a look at the ILO website or um, the Rose Travels website. On both sides you find information about the machines. You also share roasting profiles and um, if you have any additional questions always come back to Stefan or me. And um, now I wish you a lot of fun with the ILO Bullet. Mm -hmm.